All right. Today we're going to show you the system we have installed here. This is one of the switches. It's an Nlight NPod GFX. And we'll see all the different things we can control with it. Everything's going to be labeled. We have both the simple on off here. We also have some that can dim as well. You can adjust this fader, whatever level you like. You have your little arrows. You're going to go through multiple different ones, different areas. And we'll see labels on all of that. Some places like the gym are split in two halves. And we've got fitness, all sorts of stuff. Probably the only setting that will need to be changed on here is the passcode. If you want to passcode lock it, when you hit our lock in the corner there, that's where you'd enter it. Default here is one, two, three, four. Then all these other settings have been preset. You shouldn't need to worry about any of those. We're going to go down to the setup for this switch. And that's where we can change our passcode here. So we'll do the same one just for simplicity. We're going to hit it again. One, two, three, four. You hit it a second time to confirm. And that's how you would change your passcode. You can also go here and then set it so that no one can even change anything, turn any lights on or off without the passcode. For now, we're going to leave it back at the default. And then you just hit back and back home. We're back where we started. Here we have the central brains for your system. This is an Nlight Eclipse. We have three sections here. Don't know if you'll ever need to know. We have three modules here. Power, main body, and this is the Nlight side. That's what talks to all your devices. Everything installed is Nlight. This is the side that talks to all your devices. So we're coming down into a bridge. This feeds each floor. So if you have a problem on any one floor, you can try, you know, disconnecting, reconnecting, something like that. Although that would usually be more through your configuration and sensor view, which we'll cover later. Um, this also allows for networking and tying into a backnet setup. That will be added in the future on this side. We have our Wi-Fi connection here for connecting and programming that with any laptop. Makes it real easy. We also have a little bit of status you can see on the screen here. It will show online devices, offline devices, and errors. So that's a good first step. If you suspect you have any problems, you can walk up. And if it just shows everything online, you know you're good. Here we have a relay panel, also abbreviated uh, NRP, and light relay panel. This is what actually controls all your lights. So as you see, this one's not quite finished, but we have power coming in and going back out through each of these relays. This is where we're tied into the system here. If you ever need to change that, I doubt you will, but just so you know, that's your Cat5 to control the system. We also have dimming outputs on the sides here. That's what tells the lights what brightness to be at. And we have all our relays. You can also manually switch these if you need to. Uh, if you're doing any maintenance, I would recommend manually switching these like so, off is to the right, and removing your control leads so that you know that those lights won't come back on. Same idea as flipping a breaker, but you can go finer control with one relay. Um, they're pretty much self-sufficient. You shouldn't really need to work on anything in them. That way you have an idea of what they look like.